Okay, while we're back here at the shop as promised, uh, just at the front here, I wanted to show you where we are. San Diego Metal Detector Gold Prospecting Supply in El Cajon. Just thought I'd put a quick little plug in there for the shop. But uh, anyway, what we're going to do in the video from down there at the claims, we've taken out some material out of the bank where we we're actually doing our dry washing and we wanted to sample it. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're using an XRF sampling machine. What it does, it's x ray fluorescence. It actually analyzes the material, shoots it with x-ray. It's got a couple of different beams it goes through. Uh, we're actually setting it up for two beams today. It'll uh, take a few few seconds on each beam. I think we're running about 90 seconds for the analyzation today. Uh, we'll put the sample in the machine right here. And then, of course, we control it over here on the computer with our software. This machine is portable. We could take it down to the desert with us, but it's much easier to bring the material back. It's a lot more accurate if we grind it up, uh, homogenize it like I was telling you about down there. Um, what we did, we ground this up and I meshed it down to a minus 50. I wanted to make sure there wasn't any nuggets in there. If you got a little piece of gold, it's really going to skew the results. It'll show some fantastic amount. So we just wanted to see the really fine stuff in here, the type of stuff that we get while we're dry washing. I cheated just a little bit. I pulled out some of the iron with a magnet. Um, the iron can kind of mask smaller amounts of gold. Um, normally when I'm doing a sample for a, for a client, for a mining company or, or a prospector, I won't pull anything out. I'll just analyze it after we prepare it. So what we did today, we prepared the material. I'm just going to take some of it right here if I can do this one-handed without spilling too much. And we're going to get it everywhere here. And I only need Gosh, not much more than an ounce or so in our cup. And like I said, we've taken this, that sample from that bag we got, all that material we took. I ground it up. I pulled the big rocks up. I didn't want to analyze the rocks. I just want to analyze the clay type stuff and the, the, the softer material, just like we would normally be dry washing. So we're going to take this and just tap down the sample a little bit. I'll put it right inside our machine here. And we shut the door. It's a safety door. This is x-ray and it does have radiation. That's what it's doing. It's it's x-raying the sample and the sample kind of like a black light. It fluoresces. That's how you get the XRF, x-ray fluorescence. It fluoresces, although you can't see it, but like a black light when it fluoresces. This fluoresces at a wavelength we can't see, but the machine reads how it fluoresces. And then that gives us our basic, our elements off the periodic table. They're uh, pretty much like iron, manganese, titanium, zirconium, all the... Um, uh, different types of uh, elements on there and so what we're going to do we're going to start this up here start our analyzation and it's going to go ahead and go here if we actually got the machine set on two beams for 45 seconds and I'll just keep it going here and what we're looking for is on the top on the left it tells us the element that it's showing, then the next column it shows PPM, that's parts per million, and then the next is a plus slash minus, that's the error factor of it, and then down below is the not detected. And just there our gold did show up on it. So basically if you look up on the top we have very little iron, that's the Fe, some titanium, so on and so forth down, copper, chromium, nickel. And then if you look right down at the bottom of that column, I'm going to put my finger right here by it, it says AU, that's gold. That's seven parts per million. And it may not sound like much, but seven parts per million is actually um, seven grams per metric ton. So that's not a bad amount. And that area down there, if we do, and basically what that's saying is if we did a, a metric ton, uh, I, I think it's 2,200 pounds, a long ton, um, if we had that that exact type of material that we sampled. If we did a ton of it, which is going to be roughly about uh, 40 buckets or so, we would have seven grams of material. Now that's actually a pretty good, pretty good amount there. I, I 
believe that we're a little bit skewed on the high side here because like I explained in the other video when we took the sample we just took the rich area we just took that rich dirt we knew contained gold that's what we've been dry washing and doing really good on so that kind of gives us a good result now if we had sampled a lot of the different material that didn't have that 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 rich looking vein that we went through there I, I guess we call it a vein more of a, la a layer if we had sampled some of the other stuff this this level might have been not quite as, as spiffy as this so seven grams um, seven parts per million seven grams per ton that's pretty exciting stuff so guess what when we go back down there we work that uh that bank right there we're going to be working on that layer i'll tell you we're going to go ahead and sign off hope this was a little bit of educational for you if you ever do have any samples um you want assay we can do this uh yeah heck you can just give me a holler and we can sure talk about it i love doing it and uh, love talking to you guys about it y'all have a great day san diego prospector here signing off